It's looking like it's ready to turn into a butterfly. No fat.
Mais elle a mis une excuse. Sorry. Give me the 360 and the 360 camera. No sign on the map. So we don't need to go further. We need to go back up there anyway. So all these little leaves on the ground look like mushrooms. And then you look closer and oh, Ellie. Ellie. We found a few cool things though. And I really need them to get out. I'm going to try some of this beauty. Where are the kind of um, different. Shape. Yeah. Remember that biggest wood? Challenge? Yeah. 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 This is the one that I want to get her. Do we get another one? Not with us, but we can come back. I don't know which tree it is. I can't even hug it. It's a big, beautiful merch. It might not be the biggest out there, but it is a grandma tree. It drops tons of seeds, and not every birch does that. Um, they have to get pretty big to do that. Now, I'm sure your birch drops seeds too, but they're far and few between that actually do that here. And this is a grandma tree. And it's got a teardrop right here. I don't know why, but every time I walk by the trail, I see that, that growth, and it looks like a teardrop. So, we'll come back and measure this for the biggest, the biggest wood. <laughs> we got big wood. <laughs> Okay, we'll look up without making us dizzy. She's a big tree. And she shares with a lot of other trees. <laughs> yeah, there's a uh, Mushroom swirling on that one. Like there is, there's so many merch in here. Very nice. Yeah, merch polypore. Yeah, except for that merch there. That one's a white paper merch. But, um, these ones, the merch that I was talking about, they are yellow merch, I believe. But when they get big like that, the bark kind of looks different than when they're younger, younger. Um... When they're young, they kind of look like the root here. And then as they get older, the bark starts cracking. And then it separates. So you get more of an appearance like that. See, there's minor paper birch there. And then you get your yellow birch. Which I told my dad it looks silver. 
But he was like, yeah, but it's yellow. Some of them look kind of silvery. But they're a yellow birch. I usually get to know common names, so I try to put scientific names in where I can if you want them. Meet me in the comments below. <laughs> I was telling Kane then if the the burdock has burrs already, it won't be edible. The root will be fibrous. Because all the nutrition's going up to make seed. Where in there, they're storing it over winter for next year's flowers to make seed. A plant's first priority is making seed. So, they store a big taproot. For winter to keep the plant alive till next year. There's some flower and some not. Over the winter. So this is the perfect time to come out because the leaves are still here. Uh, you come back another couple of weeks, the leaves are going to start dropping. Yeah. Another you wait till the end of this month, September maybe. End of September and all the leaves will be gone and you won't be able to find your root. Um, there is ways that you can do it, but right now it's easier to, to remember. Right now you can even stick a stick in the, the thing or try to remember what kind of tree it's beside. Make a video, hint, hint. Or ask caveman where it is. <laughs> it's that one that you can still eat those vegetables. The leaves, the younger ones, the older ones, you can still use them as a wrap to wrap food up with or and cook it. Bum. Or to wipe your bum, he says. <laughs> Wild well, animals always know where the good ones are. <laughs> I keep forgetting this one's up here. It's huge. But yeah. I forget it's up here, but I... Yeah, those are um, cliffside permaculture. Helped us find out there are Japanese uh, lilac. So, they're not ready yet, cliffside. But we're getting there. Let's see if we do a close up while it's windy. Oh, look at that. That's pretty good. That's a moment. There we go. 